Welcome to El Dia de los Muertos, Programa de Cocina. Today we are going to cook up some mole with chicken and rice. Ingredients you will need for your spicy meal are 14 and a half ounces of diced tomatoes, 1 fourth cup of chopped onions, 1 fourth cup of slivered almonds, 3 tablespoons of raisins, 2 tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, 2 tablespoons of bottled jalapeno, peppers, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, three cloves of garlic, and make sure they're quartered, uh, one fourth tablespoons of salt, one fourth teaspoon ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg, and one eighth teaspoon ground coriander. You will also need a two and a half pound broiler fried chicken, make sure that it's cut up, uh, two tablespoons of uh, toasted slivered almonds, two cups of hot cooked brown or white rice. But before I get our hands dirty, I should go over three things. First, mole is a spicy chocolate sauce served on steak and chicken made during El Dia de los Muertos or the Day of the Dead. Second, during El Dia de los Muertos, mole is used as a way to show the dead that you care enough to give them the very best foods. And third, always have the assistance of an adult when using sharp tools to cut the food. To start, gather all the ingredients needed to make your mole with chicken and rice. To make the mole, put tomatoes, onion, one fourth cup of almonds, raisins, cocoa powder, jalapeno peppers, sesame seeds, garlic, salt, cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, and coriander in a food processor or blender until the concoction is nearly smooth. While cu cutting the food, as you can see, you may want gloves and you want a parrot to cut all the food. I have prepared all the ingredients that we will be needing to a process and turn it into mole. We have uh, the tomatoes. Uh, we're going to pour all of this in because this is 14 and a half cups. Um, we're going to use the onions. So. We're going to all put all of this in there. Uh, we have the cup, uh, cups of ra almonds. And now we have the jalapenos, nutmeg, cocoa powder, cinnamon, sesame seeds, garlic, and salt. And we're all going to put, we're going to put all of this inside of the food processor. side of the processor. See if you can have an adult help you prepare the food processor. So now you're going to blend the concoction until it is smooth. Now that the concoction is smooth, it is already mole. For the chicken, first apply a coat of cooking spray to a slow cooker. Next, put the chicken in a pan. Pour mole over the chicken.
and cook the chicken on low heat for nine to 10 hours or four and a half to five hours on high heat. So now we're going to take the crock pot with the chicken and mole over to the slow cooker. In the next step, you'll place the crock pot inside of the slow cooker and then you will cover the pot. So, to use the controls, you first hit low, now it's on low power as you can see. Hit it again, now it's on high power. And then we will change the time until it hits five hours. And you can do the same thing on low power. And then that's it. While the mole with the chicken is cooking, we are going to prepare our rice. For the rice, we will need one cup of rice and we will pour it into the rice cooker. And then we will use one and a half cups of water and also pour that into the rice cooker. When you are done pouring the ingredients, put the lid on, put down the coals, and hit start. That's all. Now that the chicken and mole with rice is complete, we are going to serve it. Smells delicious. That is actually really good.